the United Nations Foundation is dedicated to working with the UN around the world to support its work. And starting in 2006, we partnered with the Vodafone Foundation, Vodafone of course being one of the world's largest mobile operators, looking at how mobile technology in particular could be used to support and strengthen global health and humanitarian work. And since that time, we've seen this incredible revolution in human connectivity. There are now over 5 billion mobile subscriptions worldwide, and we've learned that this can be an incredible force multiplier for improving health, uh, particularly in areas that are remote. And this is the case as we're seeing in Brazil. Pan American Health Organization in Brazil is helping the Ministry of Health and specifically the Indigenous Health Department to evaluate the potential for mobile technologies to collect health information, to analyze the data in the field, but principally to inform decision making about the, the services that are provided to the indigenous health population. So what we're doing with the Ministry of Health is we're looking at how data are collected right now. Bom, esses dados eles são primeiramente anotados num papel, em seguida são digitados no computador e enviados por um pendrive. Isso é um processo lento e que por muitas vezes esses dados eles são corrompidos e perdidos no processo. What we are hoping with mobile technologies is obviously it will take care of the first bottleneck or the need for papers and forms in the field and the need to get all of those data entered into the database, into the computer. But the second objective is really for decision making. We want to have the data available immediately in the field. Imagine someone who goes to a distant community or an indigenous population where they travel a day by boat to get there. They enter all of the data into the forms. The data go back or the forms go back. It takes one month to uh, enter those data into the computer and they don't even know from their day's work how many children were vaccinated, what their coverage is for that particular vaccine in that population, and critically, they don't know what they need for the next visit, how many children, how many adults will be vaccinated the next time they go to that community. So what we're hoping is the digital technology allows us to uh, record the data immediately and even leaving the community the health worker would have a report of where they were when they started and where they are when they finish the day. Overall, we're incredibly excited about the opportunity that mobile technology presents for helping to overcome global health challenges. And through the UN Foundation, Vodafone Foundation partnership, and with others, including the Rockefeller Foundation, the GSM Association, we've created the M-Health Alliance that's going to be looking at this opportunity globally, at how to work together with governments, with intergovernmental organizations, nonprofits, in bringing M-Health to scale. And we are incredibly excited about the opportunities ahead of us. A repercussão disso é aceita, aumentar a aceitabilidade do sistema. O que se espera é que esse sistema ele se torne mais aceito, mais oportuno e com isso a gente tenha uma informação de melhor qualidade que represente o, o, o real estado de saúde dessas populações vulneráveis.